All right, well, Mike Max is here now to talk about something that, that most people are uncomfortable talking about, you know, let alone athletes. It's, uh, it's different, and it's compelling, and it's been all of the above. As I've kind of followed and chronicled this kid through his, his life since he got into high school. He is one of the most interesting people I've covered. Royce White is one talented basketball player, to be sure. He's intelligent, and he suffers from mental illness. That has changed the course of his life in many ways, including basketball. He's back this summer trying to play his way back to a paycheck, claiming he's not that concerned if he ever plays again. It's been a whirlwind. Royce White, he led Hopkins to a state title. He never played a minute for the Gophers. Troubles off the court short-circuited his career there. At Iowa State, he was reborn, leading the Cyclones to the Sweet 16 in just one season. My year at Iowa State, that there was two guys who led their team in, in every stat. Um, and Draymond Green led his team in four stats, and I was able to clock in a fifth stat category. A first-round pick of the Houston Rockets, his NBA life never took off. It got complicated. At the heart of it, his battle with mental illness. I mean, that's evident. I haven't played the minutes. I got nine total minutes in the NBA up until this point, and um, my skill set and my abilities don't equate with that. So now we find him here at De La Salle High School playing in the pro ends, trying to rebuild his brand but somewhat defiant that he has to prove it to anyone in the NBA. If I never play another minute, there's film that gives lens proof to who I am as a player, and, and I'm comfortable with that. That's right. It gets complicated. He's got a nonprofit, and he's trying to lobby on behalf of the mental illness cause that he lives with every day. The conversation of mental illness and mental health in general is very skewed. Um, the thing that you, people have to understand about mental health is that there are a lot of definitions out there about a lot of different disorders and, and classifications. But the here and now is if he wants to play, he has to impress someone. Or does he? See, Royce White wants a basketball comeback. But if he doesn't get it, he says that's just fine too. Right now for me, I'm just staying focused, you know, keeping my body in shape and prepare for whatever opportunity may come. And if no opportunity comes, then I'm prepared for that as well. He did have a trial with the New York Knicks in early June about a month ago. So he's got the attention of some teams. He just needs to convert it. And he really doesn't want to go over and play in Europe, but that could be an option as well. But you know what? He's having a very powerful impact, talking about his personal story, talking about mental illness, and it's letting people know it's okay to, to acknowledge it. And, and and he has been out there as an advocate. He, he canceled a meeting with uh, Senator Franken last week to play basketball. Uh, but the people around him say, Royce, that's great, but go make some money playing basketball while you've got this window of opportunity. All right. Well, we look forward to following his story. Thank you, Maxine. Thank you. Thank you.